during the meetings that I've had. Right. You know, still waiting for the notification on their email. So, yeah, yeah for sure right. more will be coming in. So, yeah, at this point forward, um, it's 9 a.m. So we will be starting our event. So, all right, let me just. Um, okay. So hello everyone. Welcome to Entrepreneurs International Network. My name is Keisha Carter. I am the organizer of EIN and I'm super excited for having a great speaker for today, James Elliott. So James will discuss here people say yes to you more, master the art of persuasion and influence. But before he comes to our virtual stage to give us his talk, we wanna talk about what Entrepreneurs International Network is and how you can get the most out of everything that EIN offers. So for the first timers here on the call, EIN is an organization that helps entrepreneurs find free or inexpensive education that can help them to network and grow their entire business. So in every single event like this, we'll have education, networking sessions during our Q&As and gratitude circle where you can find your potential joint venture partners and client. So we also have an app called Entrepreneurs International Network and to download them on your uh, mobile phone, just send them to Google Play or App Store and find Entrepreneurs International Network to get access to a lot of other pieces of information. And if you go to our official website, that is eintalks.com, you'll be able to see the recording of all our past events. And uh, you will also take a peek of what's coming and you can register there. So I highly recommend that you uh, download our app or visit our website so you can get access to all those information. So today's event will run for an hour and 30 minutes and we'll have our speaker give his talk for 45 minutes. And after that, we'll have a 15 minute question and answer portion by the audience. And lastly, we'll give another 15 minutes for our audience to share their takeaways and gratitude to our speaker. Then after that, we'll be wrapping up and close the event by 10.30 a.m. Pacific. And with that, let's go to our amazing speaker for today, James Elliott. So for over 23 years, James Elliott had been an accomplished and sought out mentor, speaker, author, and trainer. He's combined his passion to help others, to overcome his past challenges, personal growth, his experiences, and all his training into a powerful system for real results. And so I'm more than thrilled to have James on our stage to share with us his talk about how we can benefit on the art of persuasion and influence in our business. James, the stage is all yours. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys, appreciate the introduction, Kazaya. Uh, my name is James Robert Elliott. I'm an international trainer and speaker. Um, you know, like as I said, I've done this for over 23 years now, both with big, big multinational firms like IBM, uh, Novell, Lenovo, the computer company, makes the ThinkPad laptop, and NetIQ, and some smaller startups like a company in Toronto called Platespin years ago. And so, um, you know, stop me anytime if there's any questions. I like making this really an interactive, guys. We'll do have a Q&A at the end, too, as well, because um, I'm going to keep me uh, honest and on time here, because despite myself and wanting to give so much, sometimes I don't always notice the time. So uh, we're going to go over 14 keys to influence and persuasion and hearing yes from people with integrity, because with integrity is super, super, super important. Uh, integrity, and I'll add authenticity, being real versus being who, you know, who we think people need us to be, right? Being real, authentic. It, it's so, so, so important, guys. It's such an important thing, just being the real you, not who our parents said we should be or who we shouldn't be. What would people think, right? What would people think? Or what we're supposed to do or should do, shouldn't do. All the cultural, you said adjust my little Star Wars microphone here, all the little, you know, religious, cultural, community, uh, programming and beliefs uh, from our, you know, from parents, authority figures, grandparents, news, media, society, community, like I said, uh, parents and grandparents are, and teachers are sometimes the worst in terms of programming us a certain way about what's good and bad, right or wrong, what's possible, what's impossible. And so we go through life 
programmed this way that I have to, or I can, or can't, or shouldn't, or, you know, I don't have enough time or money or energy, which is the greatest excuses and reasons not to do anything. If you look at people who are wildly successful, most of them didn't come from, you know, a, a golden spoon, you know, born with a golden spoon in their mouth. Most of them haven't uh, been born that way. It's they created this for themselves. Right? I mean, look at Oprah, born on the wrong side of the tracks. Look at Tony Robbins, lived out of his car for, for so long, right? Ariana Huffington, uh, they all, all had all their, their different challenges in life. So Richard Branson, lots of challenges in life. Now he's, you know, the, a billionaire and the head of uh, Virgin Galactic. Uh, all kinds of interesting things and amazing people that weren't necessarily given the most resources. However, they were the most resourceful. So my invitation as we go through today's presentation is to, to be resourceful. My invitation for the rest of your life, in fact, is to be resourceful. And that's going to help you become resilient and perseverant and, and blow through, power through anything that gets in your way. Because things get in the way all the time, every day. Whether it's you know me spilling a, uh, an entire container of iced tea on the floor uh, or whether it's it's, you know, needing to find a way to invest in something, right? Whether it's time, money, and energy, finding a way to invest in something. It's, it's just, if, if, if you trust me, guys, I know you've met me for a whopping four minutes, but <laughs> if you take what, what I've learned, the most successful people in the world, it, it's all finding a way no matter what, right? It, it, it's like, how can I? There is no if, there is no but, there is no can't, there is no whether I, it's I can, and how can I? How can I make this work? By definition, where there's a will, where the desire, there is a way to do it. And it's our it's our fear. I was going to do a, a one of my uh, Facebook uh, lives and um, TikTok and Shorts about this this morning. Ran out of time. I swam across a lake and I, I took a little longer than I expected. Um, and I wanted to do one about hey. Our, our fear of failure. We all have this fear, fear of failure, fear of what people think about us, fear of looking bad, fear of feeling bad. However, the greatest fear we, we should have is the fear of, of not achieving what we want. The biggest fear should be of a life unlived. The greatest fear should be when you're in your rocking chair. It's, I call it the rocking chair test. You have your tea and you're in your rocking chair when you're 92 or 96 or however old you are. And you're looking back at your life, looking back at life and, and you're thinking, wow, you know, did I, did I not just achieve, but I, did I take action? Did I go for the things I wanted? Did I try things I wanted, test things out? Did I just go for it? Or did I worry that, wow, I don't want to lose money or don't want to spend time. Or what if this doesn't work? Or what if people don't like it? Or what would people say? In my opinion, that's what people should be, be the most afraid of, not if something doesn't work the first time they try it, like riding a bike or walking. Now, we fell a lot when learning to walk. You fell a lot likely when learning to ride a bike or whatever else you've tried in life, right? However, we often, when we get older to adults, we often fear failure so much. And, and I mean, there's a book I love. It's called Failure, excuse me, Success Starts with Failure. And in, in my in my my saying at Jamesism, it's it's there is no failure. There's only lessons. There's only feedback. There's only growth and learning. So I just I wanted to prelude everything with that about being influential, everyone about taking action, taking risk, being you know no risk no reward. I certainly believe it. You don't have to spend all your money and bet it on number six at the casino. That's maybe not the best risk. Uh, and Take risks, take big, bold movements, do things that scare you. That is going to help you grow. It's going to build that mental muscle as well. And, and fair enough, you know, we have a message here too, realizing that not living the life that you want. I, I love that. I love that. You know, and, and, and again, fear, the biggest fear should be, again, I should with air quotes, not living the life that we really want and, and having a life unlived. Uh, my book publisher said that the uh, the richest place in the world is the graveyard. Think about that. The richest place in the world is the graveyard. Why? Well, it's because all the great ideas, all the great ideas and things that what we want, that we need, are are there. So, you know. So, I wanted to prelude you guys with that.
And so now, without further ado, I want to talk about the 14 keys to influence and persuasion and hearing yes from people, hearing people tell you yes, whether it's for a discount at a store that doesn't give discounts, whether it's something in a store that doesn't give you returns, whether it's at a resort and getting room upgrades, um, whether it's the, the movie you want to choose or where you want to go for dinner, whether it's someone saying yes, that they'll buy you or they'll pay you, they'll pay you more for your consultancy, for your business. They'll pay you more if, if you have a, a hustle or a side job or something, um, or if you are working with someone else, right? They'll pay you more. They'll pay you more for your business. They'll say yes to you because they see your value. So let me share my screen quickly here, and we'll get into number one. We'll start at the beginning <laughs> with number one. All right, here we go. Let me share my screen here. Uh, let me see here. Zoom is not cooperating with me first. Here we go. Okay, share screen. There we go. Okay. So number one, number one is connection, right? We, we need to have a, a connection with people. We need to have this, this trust and, and it's, it's, it includes desiring what is best for all parties. It's this, this win, win, win mindset, right? You win, I win, everybody wins. And there's no, no, there's no loss. It's not like, you know, someone loses if I win or if I have to win, someone loses or think, you know, vice versa. There, there is none of that. It, it needs to be a win, win, win. A win for you, you, them, everyone, right? So it, it, the client or the business wins, you wins, and then the customer wins, the team wins, their staff wins, the world wins, the environment wins, whatever it is. So the, this, this connection we need Right. And, and, and it's this cornerstone of working with people is, is this connection and creating a connection. In fact, creating a powerful connection. See, connection, this will transcend just the, the transactional objectives. Uh, you know, like I, okay, I want to hire, you know, Akai or I want to hire Sergio because I need my, I don't know, my website improved or I need consulting on on this or I need that built or this graphic design or this marketing or, or whatever right whatever it is the connection go goes beyond right goes way 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 beyond which is powerful right like if, if Chloe is, is selling someone something you know or or site is trying to enroll someone to to buy from him to pay him you know Larry whoever whoever it is guys Linda whatever you're trying to do you need to have this connection. And that way, people will say yes to you. They will pay you more than others. It's who people resonate with is, is generally who people tend to do business with. I've seen this in my world. I've seen this in the corporate world. Uh, people will do business with who they know, like, and trust. So it's, it's getting that connection and creating and keeping a connection. It's that that win-win-win. And one of the ways you can do this, guys, there's a cool way you can do this. One of the ways you can do this is through reciprocity, through giving. It's one of the big ways you can do it, right? It, it's that connection. And I'll talk about reciprocity in a minute. But again, really creating a connection. And this is why I love teaching what I do and teaching all these neurolinguistic programming or NLP. You guys might have heard something called NLP to create a powerful connection. To have people know you, like you, and trust you, right? It's the know, like, trust factor, right? And, and finding ways to do it. There's a million ways to do that. And, and literally each one of these 14 keys is an entire separate seminar. Um, and these are all things I teach in my, my big, big Unleash Your Potential course. I have a 13-week Unleash Your Potential course. It's kick-ass. It'll change your life. And for the, for the sake of this meeting, just to go through these quickly... Find ways to have them know you, like you, trust you. Get in front of them. Uh, speak for them. Get in front of them. Connect with them. Talk with them. Help them with something, even if it has nothing to do with what you do. Connect them with something. I love doing people favors, connecting them, whether it's with a, a PR person or a personal trainer or a financial person, whatever it is, a website person, search engine guru. Because, again, that helps me connect with them. It gives me a reason to reach out. Uh, I also have uh, seminars every two weeks. I have seminars. It's called Master of the Art of Persuasion and Influence. And you guys are all welcome to come. There's one on Thursday, in fact. 
Uh, and we, we get into these more deeply. We get into uh, two or three of these at a time more deeply. I'm going to stay high level today. If it's of interest, I'll tell you how you can join Thursday as well. Uh, Thursday at noon Eastern. So again, the know, like, and trust factor, find ways to connect, right? Find ways to connect and, and serve and stay in touch. Okay. That's the first one. And we can come back to these too. I just want to make sure we're not uh, burning through time too fast here. So the second one is listening and presence. Most people say, oh, I'm a great listener. I'm a great communicator. But most people are not present when they listen. They're thinking of, okay, I hope this person buys or when will they shut up and buy? You know, later I got to do this, right? Do I leave the, the, the stove on or got to take my kids later? Oh my God, I have so much to do today. I hope this call goes well. I hope this call goes quick because I, I have so much to do today. And guys, listen, listen, listen. People will feel that. Who, who, has, who has felt, you've been talking to someone's show of hands, that You've been talking to someone, but they're, they're not really there. They're not really 100% present. Just show of hands, guys, or virtual or physical. Yeah, exactly. They're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Whether they're speaking to you or listening and they're, they're not really there. Something else in their mind. How much did you like them or trust them or want to do business with them after that? How much? Just on a scale of 1 to 10 or 0 to 10, 0 being not at all, 10 being the most. Just if you want, drop it in the chat real quick. How much on a scale of one to 10 did you want to work with them, do business with them, like them, trust them after that interaction? And I'm going to take a sip of my tea. Feel free to drop that in the chat. In a scale of zero to one to 10. <laughs> one, two, zero, exactly. Yep, exactly. Yeah, you got it. Exactly. Yep, you're obviously right. Three, zero, yeah, you got it. So listen, 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 guys. The key absolute key is to be present, be present with people, present with people. Here's a quick, quick way how to do that. Called copy test or, or copy check. This is awesome. 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 And plus it forces you to listen because you're going to have to repeat it verbatim what they said. Um, I talked about this in my course. I'll, I won't explain why now because it, it takes too long. However, uh, repeat back to them what they said verbatim in their words preferably in the order they said it and again i won't get too much into the why other than that's what goes into their brain that's what their brain is looking for and listening for if they want a kick-ass financial advisor or a, a badass coach or they want a, a super duper PR person, or they need uh, a, a technical whiz kid of a search engine optimization person or website person or whatever, you, you better use their word because that is what their brain is looking for. Those are their buzzwords, their keywords. That is what they're looking for. Even if they're a bit crass or a bit crude, use their buzzwords. Consider you ha yourself having permission to use them if you've used them. You know, someone use the S word or F word sometimes, and I will, I'll use it because I, if they say it in conversation, I know I have permission to say it. And you, you can, again, you, 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 you talk like them and their brain is paying attention for that. So again, repeat back to them what they said in their words, preferably you know, they said it. Do you guys want a really, really, really cool tool? You guys want a really, really, really cool tool that'll have people say to you, holy, wow, you're a really good listener. Or I've never, I never had someone listen this well. Or I really feel a connection here. Would anyone be interested in a tool, really quick tool? Hands up. You guys are all video off. I can't see your hands <laughs> or your beautiful faces too. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. Got a few hands. Beautiful. Okay. So it's called copy check. What the heck's copy check? Well, what copy check is, is repeating it back to them. So repeat again, Pete. So you said to them, what? I think I heard versus what I heard, because if you get it wrong, you know, it's not going to be congruent to them and you may piss them off. What I think I heard it was, or is what I think I heard was, and then just repeat verbatim, uh, which is why it's good to take notes unless uh, you can take notes unless it causes you, which is often the case to cause you not to be present. You're too busy writing and typing to actually be with them. So be very, very, very careful. 
as it can pull you away. And you're literally looking away. You're not looking at them, not paying attention to them, not focusing on them. You're pulling away, looking away, looking down your notes. So be very careful when taking notes, right? You can break rapport. And, you know, when you're, you're present with them, you know, break your presence with them. And you may miss something you may, and they can, they can, again, you're not listening. So be very careful uh, if you, if you take notes, right? So copy, copy test or copy check. So, so, you know, Syed, what I think I heard you say was, you know, Carol, what I, what I think I heard you say, or Russ, what I thought I heard you say was, you know, Nate, what I think I heard you say was, and then blah, 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 blah. Uh, how, how did I get that? You know, g give me, give me, you know, give me 110, uh, one to 10 or, or, or zero to a hundred percent, you know, repeat verbatim, you know, then say, or ask. Uh, how well, how did I do? One to 10 or, you know, out of 100%. And then have them correct you, right? Have them correct you. And then repeat it correctly. Guys, this will, this is powerful. You repeat it verbatim. How did I do? What I think I heard was this. How did I do? Okay. How did I do? Again, very careful taking notes. Be very careful taking notes. Okay. Next, number three. Number three, we're getting to number three. So again, let's see in presence. Number three is a big one. It's it's giving. It's giving value first, right? Giving. Givers gain. You know, it's, it's, it's giving value first. Or giving value to get value. Right? Giving value to get value. Think about this. Someone does something nice for you, right? Someone ever had someone do, do something nice to you and you, you feel that compelled. Wow. That was nice. They, they bought lunch or they treated this, or they took time to help me and talk to me about my business or brainstorm with me or give me some ideas, or they invited me to this, or they did that for me, right? Someone invites you to dinner, does a favor, whatever it is. We, we feel compelled. We feel compelled to do something back, to give something back for them. So that's why, again, givers gain. It's, it's givers will gain, right? Givers will gain. You give something, whether it's a seminar, whether it's an ebook, an, an ebook, it's that sense of reciprocity, right? It's that sense of reciprocity, which, which will help. Reciprocity. Right, you give something, whether, and that's why, like giving an ebook, which I'm going to actually, if you guys would like it at the end, this isn't finished yet. I'm working on my ebook. I'll give you an email to email. And, um, and if you want a copy of the guide when it's done, uh, but a week or two, I'll send it out to you if that's of interest. So givers will gain, right? Givers will gain giving value first, giving, you know, think of any ways to give. Like sometimes maybe, maybe you, you know, one of your customers has a kid that's in the stalker or, or monster trucks and there's the latest monster truck comes out or there's a sale on monster trucks or there's a, I don't know, a soccer academy comes out or, Hey, here's 10 tips to a box, better soccer game. Or maybe the person's in the golf or, or, or something. And you see, you see like an ad or, a, or an article, or you see an article or a news article or a tip or whatever, or a YouTube video, you know, email to them, send them, Hey, you know, hey, I hope you're well. You can call them and follow up too if it's a prospect, potential customer. Hey, you know, I saw this. I thought of you. I know that you're into golf or you're into, you know, whatever. Um, or that your kid's into this. I thought of you. I wanted to send this to you. I just want to make sure you got my email. It's a reason to call them. It's a reason to be in touch. Other than, hey, are you ready to buy my, how are you? Hope your day's going well. What's new? Are you ready to buy my thing yet? Right? It's, and that that's how you become a, a welcome guest instead of these annoying pests that call, hey, you ready to buy? Hey, you want to buy my thing? Hey, are you interested in duct cleaning or rug cleaning or whatever? Givers gain. Always be giving and you'll be the first person that people will pick up the phone call or look at the email. It really will. It's powerful. Uh, number four is commitment. So commitment. Persuasion is a big, big part of commitment. Let's move you guys around here on my screen. Uh, persuasion is, is a, basically... Uh, it, it's it's an art form of eliciting agreement. I'll say that again. It's an art form of eliciting, getting agreement. 
right? And think about this. Like, let's anyone ever sign up for uh, someone's newsletter or download a, a free tips guide or a tips sheet? Anyone you know, ever sign up for a newsletter? Uh, you know, to you know, get discounts on something, or you, you will go to a website. Hey, sign up for the newsletter, get ten percent off, or or get get you know, get our weekly discounts if you if you sign up for our newsletter. Like we've all signed up for something like that, right? Right. So commitment, it, it's getting people to commit. It, it basically, it's it's roots are in psychology that we commit to one thing and then another, another, and we we this we we it's like a sliding scale or it's like a staircase to more and more bigger commitments. Here's an example. A bunch of researchers did a study and they studied the difference between giving someone a little, uh, basically uh, a postcard sized sign, you know, drive safely. There's children playing in the neighborhood. And they said, they said to people, knocked on doors, Hey, can you, could you put this in your window? Do you guys mind putting this in your window? And, and they said, sure. You know, certain people said, sure. And then they knocked on other doors and they said, Hey, we've got this big sign this big sign, do you mind putting this on your lawn saying, you know, drive safely, there's kids playing, let's have a safe neighborhood. And basically 82% of people said no to the big sign, right? 82% of people said no to the big sign. However, about 67% said yes to the little card, the little card in the window. Then what they did a few weeks later, they went back and said, thank you so much. These cards are working so well. People are actually slowing down around the neighborhood. They're actually slowing down around the neighborhood. Would you mind if we put a bigger sign on your front lawn? This was a sign the other people said no to. Would you mind if we put a bigger sign on your front lawn? And, and it would help even more. And, and it would be more visible. Drivers will slow down more. And guess what? 81% of people then said yes to the bigger sign. When before, 82% said no to the bigger sign. So it's that commitment, that getting commitment, right? So find ways to get commitment from people, right? Whether whether it's whether it's a, a free thing, a giveaway, a free you know webinar. That's why a lot of people have webinars, seminars, and they can. I mean, the webinars and seminars or live live or Zoom, it hits many things. It hits reciprocity, it hits authority, which we'll talk about in a minute. It's commitment. They commit to a free thing or a cheap thing. You know, whether it's, you know, seven bucks, uh, you know, 27, you know, 47, et cetera, you know, whatever it is, you know, 97. And then you can get them to higher and higher levels of commitment, right? It's, it's like a ladder. It's a value ladder. So commitment, number five, I'm going to speed up a little bit here because I don't want to run out of time. So commitment, uh, number six. Oh, by the way, uh, NLP also helps uh, enriches a prim the principle of commitment uh, by providing text techniques to align communication with an individual's established pattern of commitment. Right? We can I can actually teach you how to talk directly to people, how to be way more influential, way more convincing, persuasive by using certain tools, certain communication styles. Um, by by actually making sure you meet and match people's different learning styles making sure you meet and match people's different communication styles. Thus, they're actually hearing you. They're actually seeing you. They're, they're, they're feeling the value from you. They're making sense and understanding your message, your value, why they should choose you. Thus, you get their commitment. So I, I love teaching these tools. It's a ton of fun. So, okay, number five, moving right along here. Um, questions are the answer. What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean questions are the answer? What do you mean, James? Well, sometimes the best answer or often the best answer for a question is with another question. I'll, I'll give an example. Um, let's say, let's say I'm, you know, I'm, I'm talking to someone about my course or maybe Russ is talking to someone about, you know, what, what he does, for example, Carol is communicating with someone and, and, you know, talking about what she does, maybe Leanne or, or Dina or Eliza, Eliza or Jennifer or Derek are talking about what they do. Maybe, maybe John and, and Barry are communicating with people and they're talking with people, right? They're talking with people and really someone says, okay, Chloe, why should I choose you? Alan, what makes you the best? Whatever, whatever. I like Alan's shirt. 
by the way. Um, you know, Alan, what makes you the best? Whatever, whatever. Whitney, you know, why should I choose you? Why would I choose you, Teresa? Teresa, why would I? Why would I choose you, Teresa, over someone else? Right. So often, the best form of a question is a question. Well, what's important to you about that? Right. That and that's just one example. What's important to you about that? Or you can ask, or why is that important to you? And they'll say, well, I want to make sure, maybe they'll say, I want to make sure I get a good deal and I have the best teacher for me. I want to make sure someone's different. You know, and you can say, give me some specifics. You know, can you give me some specifics as another, another question to ask? You know, why is, why is that important to you? Well, I want someone, I want someone who really understands me. You can ask, you know, why is it important to you? What do you need? You know, what do you need? What is it that you need? Want. And some people don't know. You got to pull it out of them. What is it that you need and want? Well, I need someone that's that's honest and has integrity and has my back and will will push me and hold me accountable, but also, you know, give me the hand hug when I need it and call me out when I'm on my BS when I'm taking too long. That kind of thing, right? And in that way, you can say, well, guess what? Guess what? You know, well, my name's Leanne or my name's Alan or, or you know, Larry or Amber. And, and guess what I do? And, and my name's Sarah. And guess what I do? Well, I help. I'm great at calling people out when they're not getting stuff back to me. You know, I'll, I'll give you the hug and lift you up when you need it, but I'll also hold you accountable and kick your butt when you need it too. I'll, I'm trying to get other things I said in the example. And I'm there for you and I have your back. And my, my, my training is a high quality training. And we go deep on things. Right. So that way you can respond to people with what's important to them. So questions are the answer. Often one of the best ways to answer a question is with a question. Well, I'm curious, why is that important to you? Or, or well, what, what do you need? What would you like? You know, why are you different? Like some people say, why are you different, James? Why is your Unleash Your Potential course? Why is your NLP training? Why are your communication courses for entrepreneurs? Why, why, why is it different? Why does it work so well? Why should I choose you? Well, that's a, that's a great question. Why, why is that important to you? What is it that you, you need? What is it that you want specifically? And then I could answer the things they actually care about. They can answer what they're actually interested in. Versus I could go on and on and on and on and on and talk about all kinds of things that why I'm different that may, they, they may not care about. Well, I have, you know, umpteen certifications. They may or may not care. I have 23 years of experience. They may or may not care. You know, I've, I've done this for people all over the world. I travel, I'm an international speaker, I'm a best-selling author. They may or may not care, right? I do, I do this, I do that. My trainings are weekly. Yeah, again, they may or may not care. So again, that's a great question. You know, that's a great question. Why is that important to you? Or what's about, I, I would always start with, that's a great question. You, you affirm, affirm that, you know, that's a great question. What's important to you about that? Or that's a great question. Why is that important to you? Okay, so moving on here. I want to make sure we get to most of these. Consistency, right? So again, consistency stands as, as a beacon, essentially. And, and really, it's, it's essentially, it's be everywhere, right? Be pervasive. Be, persva be pervasive, excuse me, be pervasive. And... By that, I mean, for example, like uh, on social media, right? Um, you know, ads, uh, you know, TikToks, uh, you know, let's say YouTube, uh, Facebooks, you know, email newsletters, uh, you know, be on, you know, summits or events, you know, relating to what you do. I'm often on different events, different summits for leadership, for performance, for entrepreneurs, for growth, for communication, persuasion, influence. So, so be everywhere you can be. Be everywhere you can, right? The more, the more people see you, the more often people see you, and the more places people see you, they will want to work with you more. They trust you more. And this ties into later, see you as credible, expert, right? So be everywhere you can, uh, as much as you can. There's no, you know, there's no, oh, I did too many posts this week. Do as many posts you can. Uh, I found, by the way, that posting once a day, at least five days a week, 
will dramatically increase your post increase your post reach on on most platforms the more you post it had less to do yes with the quality and you know, and, and labeling and keywords and tagging of of posts what it had more to do with it is that I posted daily. More, so many more people saw my stuff when I posted daily. So food for thought, guys. Food for thought, okay? Uh, number seven. Here we are rolling right along. And again, so, so it's, by the way, it's embracing consistency over perfection, guys. Perfectionism will kill. I'm going to write this down. Perfectionism will kill your results. Right, it, it will kill your results, your efforts, everything. Right, and it's not like okay, I need to tweak this and make it perfect. Tweak this a thousand times, then launch it. Launch it, test it, do a video. Hey, I wasn't at my best, or didn't do that good. Do another video, similar one in a few weeks. People probably won't remember, and and it'll be different anyways. Right, perfectionism will kill results, efforts, everything, guys. So be very, very careful with that. Just go for it. You know, just do it as the shoe says, just put it out there. And, and, and sometimes when I say to myself, you know, I, I don't know if people are going to like this. Are they going to resonate with this? Is this going to piss a few people off? Not that I'm intentionally being a jerk, but I'm, I'm like, Hey guys, you know what? The, the excuses of time, money, energy, I don't, can't do it. Don't have time or not enough energy, not enough money. Yeah, I'm too young. I'm too old. Those are the top excuses I hear. They're really all related to fear. Right, we got to be honest with ourselves related to fear. And I thought to myself, you know, hmm, am I gonna am I gonna piss some people off and, and upset some people with this? And then I thought, you know what? If I do, that's probably a good thing because it means it's a powerful message. It means I'm putting the message out there. I'm I'm speaking powerfully, and people are hearing my message versus me hiding in a cave, worried about what people think. You know, again, like our parents said, well, what will people think? Who cares? You know, if you're being yourself, you're being authentic, you're being real. You have integrity. You're doing your best to help people and provide value. People will love you. Not everyone will love you. That's impossible. Not And, and that's okay. Not everyone's going to love you guys. And here's a cool statistic. There is about seven and a half, give or take, approaching eight billion people on earth, right? About seven or eight. What's 1% of that? What's 1% of seven and a half billion? I'll give you the answer. It's 75 million people. 75 million is 1%. So if you, if let's say only 1% of the world loves you, the rest don't like you, they don't care for you, maybe they hate you, that's okay. You want that polarization. 1% loves you, 99%, and that'll have never happened. The numbers will never be that high, 99%. But the rest of the world does not like you, does not resonate with you, right? That's still 75 million people. Can you do business with that many people in your life? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's a lot of people, right? You want that polarization. You don't want everyone ah, kind of being lukewarm and, ah, you know, Elliot's okay. You know, James is okay because I used to be this, this nice guy, afraid to speak up, afraid to rock the boat. All that BS our parents told us about, oh, you know, don't rock the boat. Don't, don't make waves. You know, don't, don't be honest or don't speak up or, you know, really don't be yourself and just be average, just be normal. Horrible, horrible advice, guys. Rock the boat, speak up, share things, right? If it really ruins a relationship, then then you probably wasn't the right relationship. It probably wasn't the right organization. It probably wasn't the right people. If you're being honest and, and coming from a caring perspective, if you're being a jerk, this doesn't apply. If you're being caring and you want to serve and help people, be honest. Avoid being afraid to, to put your message out, right? Avoid being afraid because you're going to water down your message. If you make your message so watered down that it's never going to ruffle anyone's feathers. And as you guys see these days, my goodness, you sometimes you can't please anyone these days, right? You're going to annoy or irritate someone. Someone's going to complain or chirp you. It's bound to happen. And if you, if you do your best not to make that happen, you're going to water, mess, water your message down and weaken your message. Just no one's going to hear it. No one's going to care. Okay. Be okay ruffling people's feathers. You, you inevitably, you're going to piss a few people off. You're going to irritate a few people in life. Some people are going to chirp you or say, oh, you don't understand Whitney or Alan. You don't know what it's like or Victi or Victor or this and that or Sergio. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Not in my case. So that won't work for me or, you know, Cameron, this and that, right? Or, or Sarah, oh, you know what it's like? Or, oh, this won't work for me or, oh, whatever, whatever. These people that are playing the victim mentality. Linda, oh, you don't know what it's like. Carol, right? Whatever it is. I'm going to try your name. Ikra. You know, oh, you don't know, no, you know what it's like, or you don't want to talk about, or you don't know this or that, or I'm this, or I that, or I can't because of this, or I can't because of that. All the nonsense, all the nonsense that's there, guys, right? 
And it's just nonsense. It's just limiting beliefs. It's just excuses. It's just, just reasons why they can't do something. Bless their hearts. And so that's why often they need us. They need us as entrepreneurs to help them succeed and achieve something, right? So um, one of uh, one of the biggest things, uh, whether it's you know shaped by by you know luminaries such as uh, Robert Cialdini, um, Arlene Dick Dick uh, Dickinson, excuse me, Arlene Dickinson from um, Shark Tank, right? These they've all shaped this 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 you know art of winning trust, as is is what is a winning recipe? The art of winning trust, creating rapport, creating likability, in people. Right? Having people like us, having people love us. So winning trust, just like I said before, winning trust, having people like you, love you, preferably instead of the lukewarm liking you. Yeah, he's okay. She's okay. They're nice, whatever. Have them love you. Have them love you because of what you represent. You know, what you represent. What you stand for. One of the great leadership authors, uh, John Maxwell, you probably heard of John C. Maxwell. He calls it level five leadership. People will love you and they'll follow you, work with you, hire you, revere you because of what you represent, what you stand for, who you are, who you are, not, and not, not in terms of a role, like they fail you because you're a manager. No, no, who you are as a person, you know, who you are as a leader, as a human, as a mentor, you know, who you are as a as a, a, a person in the world, right? They will follow you for what you stand, for what you represent. Again, level five leadership, the, the top level of leadership and the best level of leadership, people follow you because of what you represent and what you stand for, not your position, not because you're the boss, not because you're the manager, not because you're ahead of them. They follow you because of what you represent. And and building these, these rent relationships and understanding people, you know, Truly understanding people, their desires, needs, wants, fears is, is paramount. It goes back to listening and being present, listening and being present with people, right? And, and I like how, I like how uh, Akai said this, not using social media for fame and approval is, is one of the best ways to do, be truly productive using it. Absolutely. Like instead of all these vanity photos or look at me and look at me in my car, or look at me in my, just my new BMW I bought, or I mean, I, you know, I like cars too, or look at me in this and that, and all this fancy stuff and showing all our goodies and why I'm cool or why I'm worthy or why you should you like me? I completely agree. It, it's giving value, showing people, lifting people up, not making people feel that they're not good enough. Marketing already does that to us enough. Oh, you don't have this, this, this Porsche, or this BMW, you don't have this watch or these shoes or you need this dress or this watch or this whatever to impress whoever or whatever, right? I'm trying to do my best to keep an eye on these comments and also present. So, um, and, and I agree with Akai as well. Even if no one sees it, doing this leaves such a great digital footprint, digital impression, right? So the internet's timeless. The internet, the, the algorithms will love you even if no one sees it or likes it, the algorithms will love it as well. Um, you know, Chloe says, yeah, true. And the ability to ask good questions are important as well. Absolutely. Ask great questions. Ask great, great, great questions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Versus, yeah, the vanity photos, all the BS as I call it. Look at me on my vacation or look at me in my bikini or look at me with my watch or my car or my whatever, right? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Chloe says, uh, how to bring value when you're at a very early stage in your progression and only have limited resources. Uh, she's saying, should we start to connect right away as a newcomer? Just curious about local. Uh, yes, uh, find any ways to connect with people, to add value. You know, maybe Chloe's adding value is, is, is becoming a connector, having a database of all kinds of people, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, search engine, website design, uh, PR, uh, coaching, mentoring, training, uh, training, like some of the things I do. Have a great repository of these people. And, and connecting, being a connector is already a great, great way to, to add and be resourceful, mind you, because it's free and add value, give value. You know, hey, who, who can I connect you with? Or what are you seeking? Or what's your next project? What are you working on? You know, what, what are your desires? What, what's, what's coming up for you next 30 days? Oh, well, we're launching a thing and we're doing this. 
Well, do you have someone that can help you with the website or landing page? Do you have someone that can that is good with Facebook ads or, or Google ads or something? Or, or do you need someone for SEO or, or whatever, right, for messaging? So, so that's a great way to be of value is to connect people, be a connector and just write down everything, everyone you meet, their, their, their information, who they help, how they help them, who they love to serve. And you're going to, you're going to make both people very happy. The person you referred, again, going back to reciprocity, they'll want to do something nice for you because you connected them, you referred them. And the person you connected to that resource, wow, thanks very much for doing this. Yeah. Or Ekra, you know, thanks Dina for doing this. I really appreciate it, Aaron. You know, thanks Marty. That was great. I appreciate you connecting me with this PR person or with this, you know, whatever, you know, Ali, thank you. Or Chloe or, you know, Kaziah, thanks so much for connecting me with, with James. I needed to be able to become more, you know, influential or persuasive or whatever, guys, right? Understanding people, their desires, needs, wants, fears as well. And, and it's the power of charisma as well. Um, use, be, be charismatic. If you don't know how to do that, I, that's one of the things I teach. Be charismatic. Right, have fun. In in short, basically, have fun with people. People love to have fun. People love to laugh. People love to feel good. Find ways to make people feel good, even if you have only limited resources. Right, start to connect with people right away. Absolutely, find out how you can add value. What do you need? You're doing this. Or you're launching this. Or you're starting this. Or you have a business. What do you need? You know, what kind of clients should I look out for? Who should I watch out for? What can I promote something? If you have an event. You have an event, are you having an event that I can promote and share on my Facebook or my LinkedIn for you, right? It doesn't, you don't have to spend a lot of money, guys, on, on, on to, be, to be valuable and useful to people. Find ways to connect them, help them, talk to them, give them ideas, ask them questions. Sometimes when someone asks us questions, you can, it just, you, wow, that's a good idea. You can talk, basically talk your way into d discovering what you need. I'm like, I don't know what to do, or should I do this or do that? The more I talk about it, the more I, I help people, pardon me, the more I discuss it with people, the more people ask me questions, the more clarity I get. So you can just ask people great questions. What do you want? What are you working on? What do you need? Well, I, I, I'm launching this thing and doing that, and I don't know whether I should do it this way or that way, or give them ideas, ask questions, give them, well, my feedback is, is maybe do this and this, and who do you want to attract? What type of people are you looking to attract? That'll probably help you, to, you know, figure out what website you should build or, or the messaging and the marketing you should do, right? Leverage any resources, uh, no matter how new you are, old you are, how rich you are, or poor you are, anything. Leverage resources. Okay, moving on, number eight. Just over halfway there. Authority and expertise. Find ways to build authority and expertise. It could be it could be many 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 ways, right? It could be many ways. So you could do this by um, having a newsletter, sharing a newsletter. Uh, I wouldn't call it a newsletter anymore. I would call it something else. My success tips or success hacks or my SEO hacks or my PR hacks or my my uh, website building tips or my floral tips or whatever it is. A newsletter. People don't want to read a long newsletter, so I would call it something else. Um, speaking. You know, like I'm doing here, find ways to speak and give that, even if you're not a great speaker, quote unquote, give value guys. If you give value, people will not care if you're not a great speaker. And if you want to be a better speaker, come talk to me, come take my course. I will turn you into an amazing, confident speaker who can reach everyone in the room effectively and powerfully. So they say yes and buy from you after and refer you, promote you. Speaking, uh, these virtual summits, there's all kinds of virtual summits. Even is Google, Google the word summit with uh, some words related to what you do, like whether it's authority or persuasion, whether it's speaking, communication, confidence, like my case, whether it's website or SEO, whether it's uh, printing, design, graphics, marketing, PR, whatever you guys do, Google that and summit. Maybe there's a PR summit coming up. Maybe there's a graphic design summit you can speak at. These are usually unpaid. Some will charge you to speak. And I have mixed emotions about the one that charged you because you're, you're giving value to them, to their audience, and you're getting value in terms of outreach, right? Your people are seeing you. I don't always love, although if someone has X amount of thousand people, you're getting in front of, let's say a thousand or 5,000 people. Sure. Maybe pay a bit to be on their stage. It, it, it can give you value and it can give you, in fact, a lot of value if you're on the right stage, even if you have to pay to be on their stage. Uh, write a book. Write a book like mine. And if you want to make it a bestseller, make it a bestseller like mine. Um, 
create an ebook or a short guide, just like I'm doing here. All this stuff will be in the guide. It'll be in this 14 keys guide that you guys are welcome to email me. I'll give you an email at the end today. I'll give you the email. You can email me, give something of value, right? Uh, you know, uniforms by the uniforms uh, will, will build authority and expertise, authority badges, whether it's on your chest at an event, whether it's on your website, on my website, go to my website and it'll have, um, you know, best business award 2022, right? Uh, and 2023. Google reviews, right? If you have nothing in the beginning, give some people some free services with the contingency that they write you a Google review and give you a great, you know, 30 second and one minute video testimonial. Google reviews are great. Video testimonials are great. Um, just, you know, hey, Chloe says I'm awesome on your website or Kaziah says I'm great. Ali says I'm awesome. Those, anyone can write those. There's a lot of scams and, you know, mismarketing out there. So what works best are Google reviews. Again, work with your friends, work with people, find people, give people free services. That's also going to be reciprocity. Reciprocity, that you do something for them, they're going to want to do something for you. It'll also build you authority and expertise. Uh, you know, creating customer success, sharing customer success stories, work success stories, successful wins, examples. Let's say you're doing a, a 30 second or one minute elevator pitches. Um, you know, we weave these in customer success. You know, I had a lot of success last week with my customer, you know, uh, Nicole. She was struggling with this and I, I, I asked her some questions and reframed her. And now she's really rocketing towards her career and really getting her coaching business up and running. And this is actually a true story. And it made me feel so awesome and, and just able to be of such service last week with Nicole. I'm jazzed. I'm here to talk to, you, to talk to you. My name is James Robert Elliott. If you want to connect after the event, feel free. You can reach me at unleashyourpower.com. And here's my email, my phone number or whatever, right? And et cetera, et cetera. So... That's a great way to do that. And why is there writing on my screen? <laughs> I have no idea where this green line came from on my screen, nor how do I get it back? I'm not sure if someone else did that or if I did that. Wow, that's really interesting. This green line on my screen. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll go with the green line. We'll just go with it there. I have no idea why there's a green line on the screen, nor how to get rid of it. So we'll leave it. All right, anyways, find ways, guys, to speak, to communicate, to teach, to, to have conversations, meet people, give them examples, right? Give them examples of your work. You know, give them examples of your work. You know, maybe a bit of free consulting, a bit with boundaries, right? With boundaries, again, the boundaries or the exchange, it's a give, get. A give, get. Google review, you get a review, pardon me, get the agreement in advance. Okay, you agree. What I'm going to do, I'd love to give you you know, um, there was someone, she does uh, Instagram, helps people with Instagram profiles and get more and more followers. James, I'm happy to give you an hour of my time for free. I'll coach you on your Instagram uh, with the agreement that you give me uh, a review after. I said, no problem. Absolutely. You're giving me an hour of value and all I have to do is give you a review. Absolutely. So th those are other ways as well to build authority and expertise. All right, moving right along here. And let's take a look at the comments chat here. How do I get better at speaking? Uh, first of all, um, basically stop worrying what people think about you. Stop it. Stop worrying what people think about you. Just be yourself and have fun is my you know short answer. The long answer is, is honestly, if you want to get bulletproof and be an amazing speaker, talk to me about the course I teach, the Unleash Your Potential course. It literally is designed to do just that. Be a great speaker, great communicator, great leader. And again, that way people are going to say yes to you. People say yes. Hope I'm saying your name right, Ikra. They'll say yes to you. They'll pay you for speaking. They'll pay you for your work, your consulting, right? So the, the short of it is forget what people think about you. Make it all about make it all about serving people. Forget what people think about you, yet make it all about them, guys. And for, for the love of Pete, please have fun. Go out there and just have fun. Enjoy it, have fun. Make it all about serving them versus, oh, what are they going to think about me? I hope they like me. I hope I look good. I hope I didn't touch my face too much. I hope I stood properly or I hope I gave them enough value or I hope I... I hope I'm going to be good and not be nervous or not mumble my words or not stumble. That stuff makes us in our head and that stuff causes us to screw up. Make it all about them. What do they need? Who do I need to be for them? What content do they need? How do I give them my best? Make it all about them. Have fun and forget about what people think about you. What will they think? Or what if I, what will they think of me if I screw up? Forget about what they think of you is a short answer of how to be an amazing, amazing speaker. And again, if you want, come Come take my training. It's it's an amazing training worth every penny. And uh, we have a lot of fun and we'll turn you into bulletproof speaker, leader, entrepreneur. That's for sure. Um, 
And, and yeah, and I'll teach you how to align your communication style to those of the major and dominant communication styles in any audience, audience of one or audience of a thousand, like I mentioned earlier, but how to align your communication style and how to align what's important to people. It's called their learning style. Everyone has different learning styles. There's about four different learning styles that people have. When you speak to those different learning styles, People will hear you. People absolutely hear you. And, and absolutely, I'll show, I'll show ways, guys, to get in touch with me after because uh, I, of course, will share some links. Uh, when, uh, when in doubt, unleashyourpower.com slash training is a great one. And I'm going to move on to number nine in a second here. That's one of the ways uh, to get a hold of me too. Um, moving right along to number nine, liking, liking. Again, this is this is obviously not rocket science people need to like you get it's that no like and trust factor right how do we do that well this is easy this is easy and again this answers your question too about how do i become a great speaker right be interested versus trying to be cool or interesting be interested in them at versus, oh, I'm so good in this and that and blah, blah, blah. And someone said this earlier about the, the, the you know, just promoting materialism and look how good I am and, and all this stuff versus serving, truly serving and giving people value on the internet. I think people are getting sick of, if not very sick of already, all the, all the BS and look at my new watch or look at my this and that. And, oh, I took this vacation, this fancy vacation, or I'll look at my new fancy shoes that were thousand dollars or look at my my, my, my watch or my car or my whatever, right? It just, and there's more examples of this, but all the nonsense versus the true, hey guys, I had a thought today and wanted to share it with you. Hey, this is me raw and real. I don't edit my shorts. I don't even edit my, my long form videos and the super long form 20, 30, 40 minutes. I barely edit those. I'm raw and real and authentic. Do I make mistakes? Yes, but people love it because there's a lot of value and a lot of authenticity there. I am being interested in how I can help people versus trying to be cool and interesting, right? Yes, you're going to want to showcase a little bit on, on, on you and why the heck they should listen to you. Like I, I, I shared at the beginning, hey, I've done this for 23 years. I'm an international best-selling author. Um, I've, I've worked with people all over the world. I've spoken and taught all over the world. You know, best-selling book and this and that. All these good things, right? Um, you know, best business of the beer of the of the year award, best business of the beer, best business of the year award. I've done all these things, right? But I keep it to be that much, so you guys again get the oh wow, we have the authority. Okay, this guy has authority, right? There's that well consistency, but also there's that uh, that winning trust, having charisma, and the authority expertise. I build that very very quickly, and I could have actually shared a customer success story as well. In fact, if there's time at the end, I'll do that. Sharing a customer success story will also build authority and expertise and build liking. Wow. Be funny. Have fun with people, right? No, have fun with people versus do they like me? I hope they like me. hope they think I'm cool. hope they want to buy from me. Whatever, whatever. Have fun with them. Enjoy. Enjoy the interaction. Enjoy, you know, aim to serve. Give them your best. If you're, if you're in your head, guys, here's a tip. If you are in your head, Worried, nervous, what do they think of me, etc. Ask yourself, how can I help this amazing person, even if it's not buying from me? Right? Like, again, can I connect them with someone? Can I connect them with someone? Can I network them with someone? Can I ask them some questions? Can I just give them a listening ear? Maybe they're having a, cra a, a crappy day. Five minutes left. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I can, perfect. I will, I will, yeah, integrate a few questions with the talk as well. And again, get ready to ask some questions, guys. Number 10, so liking. How can I help this amazing person even if it's not buying from me, right? That gives a ton of value. Scarcity, right? Scarcity. I have all the time in the world, guys. Pick my count. Pick any day in my counter. All the time in the world. How does that, do you want to, you know, hmm, well, how good they, can they be? How much of an expert can they be? Right? I'll give you guys my calendar link after this. And there, I get booked up usually a week or two in advance. Uh, you know, September is a little crazy for people. So it's, it's a little more free right now, but I get booked up usually weeks in advance. Wh which expert would you rather work with? 
right? Someone that has total free time and probably nothing to do, or it sounds like no customers or clients. I, yeah, book any time for me. I've, I've all the time, book any time with me. Or, you know, hey, we're only releasing a, a thousand new iPods. We're only releasing, a, you know, a, a 400 new Nike, Nike shoes. Which would compel people into action, right? Scarcity. Scarcity builds urgency and, you know, and influence. People will, 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 will and, you know, hey, the, for the, le- the next five people, you get this. Or if the first, you know, 100 people that join this thing and that sign up for my whatever, you get a bonus of a free recording. You get a bonus of this, right? Find ways to create scarcity uh, you know, with your time, your services, or with bonuses. You know, you could say, hey, the next, uh, you know, next X amount of, like, say you're at a networking event or you're at a summit or you're speaking or you're talking to someone one on one. You know, I'm, I'm doing a promotion and doing a, something. Um, the next, you know, the, the next 10 people that sign up with me for my, my I don't know, search engine or PR services, they get a free website review or they get a free whatever marketing messaging review or a, or a free whatever, whatever. The next 10 people or five people, right? Just like you guys, I'm going to give you something because I, my time is precious and I don't have that much time. Um, I'm going to give the first 10, I'm going to give a, a calendar booking link and the first seven people that go there and sign up, I am going to give you a uh, free 30 minutes of my time, uh, coaching, consulting, talking about whatever it is to help you grow your business and help you become more influential, more authentic, more, you know, more per- with integrity so that you hear more yeses, help more people, make a lot more money. Okay, community. Uh, people want a sense of community, belonging, unity, right? Again, marketing companies like, like Apple, like Nike, they're genius with this. I, I mean, is their product that much better than anyone else's? I think not. However, you're in the cool club, you're in the Apple club, the, the Nike club or the, the whatever, you know, whatever club. When I bought my Starlink internet, I work on at the lake. When I bought Starlink, I'm in the Starlink, Elon Musk Starlink internet club. I'm this exclusive club that gets to work anywhere in the world with satellite internet, blah, blah, blah. You know, people want a sense of belonging. It's actually our, our worst nightmare. And it's genetically burned into our heads from back in the caveman and cavewoman days. Cause if you were alone, if you were cast out, if you were abandoned, you would likely get eaten by a tiger. Now that's still genetically and, and psychologically hardwired, hard coded into us to not be abandoned, not be alone. People want a sense of community. It's why we do all this crazy stuff to try to be liked for people to like us, right? Uh, we, we let people break our boundaries. We, we were too nice. We let people walk all over us because we want them to like us because heaven forbid we're cast out and abandoned and rejected and we get eaten by a lion, right? It's a deep unconscious need and desire. Um, so community, uh, people, if you have a community, people love a uh, community. When people come to my course, they're in an awesome elite community. When they, when they graduate, they're in my community for life. You have access to a special group. We meet monthly. And it's an elite, elite community where everyone wants each other to succeed. Come, you know, share, learn, get value, get feedback, bring what's not working, learn new tools, learn all like this stuff, learn all new tools. It's a sense of community. It's an elite community. People want to belong to my elite community. Just like you create some sort of community, a a private Facebook group, uh, a group that meets weekly or biweekly or monthly, right? Social proof. Uh, This one's pretty easy. Um, you can do that with, with lines. This is why nightclubs hold, make a big, big, long line. Wow. Look at all the people that club. It must be awesome. Let me get in line versus a nightclub with, with no lines. Oh, is anyone in there? Does anyone like it? Is that a good club? This is why clubs hold lines, right? So lines, uh, I get Google reviews. Like I said, Google reviews, uh, video testimonials. Again, written, hey, you know, Gaziah said James is awesome. Yes, that's that's decent. And I'll probably ask, you know, Gaziah for a review. Hey, Gaziah of, you know, international, excuse me, Entrepreneurs International Network says James is a great speaker. Yeah, I'll probably ask her for a for a, a line, but I've also probably get a, a Google review from her. Uh, if you guys want, you're well, more than welcome to write a Google review for me. That would mean a lot. Um, and uh, and yeah, maybe I'll ask for a, for a video review, right? So this is all kinds of soul group lines. Uh, again, a community, you have a big community of people, uh, you know, and fo- yes, followers to some degree, although that is a vanity metric to have X amount of followers. But again, it, 
it can show expertise. Some people pay for it and some people's followers are inactive or whatever. But anyways, uh, I told you earlier, authenticity and being real with people, just being real. People have such great BS detectors and, and scam detectors these days, guys, be real. Otherwise that will kill the yes. If you, uh, otherwise you're going to kill your yes. Be real, be authentic. Avoid being what, what you think people think you should be. Be yourself. Yes, be flexible. Sure, be flexible. And I'll teach you how to have behavioral flexibility within my course. Be flexible and be yourself. You know, put, put your unique zest on things. That's why people will like you, not because you're a robot or an automaton, right? Be unique. You know, be different. Be special. People will buy your thing for you. You're an entrepreneur. They're, they're not buying the thing or the transaction. They're buying you. They're buying these people, right? They're buying everyone here. They're buying you guys. They're not buying your, your thing. That's a commodity. There's lots of competition that way. However, no one's going to compete with Kazaya. Uh, no one's compete with Ali, you know, with, with, with Ikra, with everyone, with Roshan, with Amber, with Cameron, Russ, with you know, be you, be special, be unique. That's why people will buy from you. That's who people will buy from. Right? Be real, be unique, no BS. That's why people are gonna buy you, you know, from you, Dina, of course, you, Marty as well, Joanna, Derek, all you guys, right? Marco, Eliza, that's why people are buying from you. Be special, be different, be unique. Number 14, the last one as well is thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box, right? The principle about you know thinking outside the box, the box, excuse me. It, it, it's, it helps with influence because then again, you're different. You bring different solutions, right? Bring something different. This also relates to number 13. Different ideas, solutions. You know, create, create you know, YouTube shorts or TikToks or Facebook reels or whatever that are a bit contrary. Hey guys, you know, no, it's, it's, not, it's not low fat diets that are winning. It's actually low grains and, and low processed food diets. I, I used to be uh, 60 pounds heavier. So let's say I'm a, I'm a fitness coach. I could say, guys, stop with the low fat diets they are not working. Go from grains to greens. And that's how I honestly lost a lot of weight. There's all grains out the window, including rice. Uh, but especially the more inflammatory ones like wheat uh, and some of the, you know, sorghum, uh, some of the really, really inflammatory grains. Again, like I said, I went, make your grains, your greens, turn your grains into greens. That's contrary. Everyone thinks, oh, I got to eat low fat this and low fat that and count calories. You know, stop counting calories. That's not the way to lose weight. Go, go from greens to grains to greens. That's the way to lose weight. Like, so, so never be afraid to have something contrary. Be contrary. Uh, you know, drop a value bomb, as one of my mentors calls it. You know, be different to break through the noise. You know, if I said, hey, guys, yeah, you know, low-fat diet, you should definitely do it. It's good. Whatever. It, you, it's been done a thousand times. No one's going to pay attention. You're not going to break through all the noise, right? You're not going to break through all the noise. Do something different. State your point. If you have a contrarian opinion, and state it and look at the people that we revere. They're all people that are contrarians. Oprah, I did something different. Elon Musk, you know, Sir Richard Branson, um, even Colonel Sanders did something different, right? All these people did something different in their, their lives. Some of these people really young, achieving some of these people. Colonel Sanders, well, I think he was in his 70s before he had wild success, right? So, so never give up. That's also a, a testament to never give up. Um, be different, do something different. Always be, always be, be real. Be afraid. Never be afraid. Be, be, never be afraid. And I'm going to close it up here. Never be afraid to be different, to disagree. In fact, when I'm on dates, people love when I disagree. They love when I disagree uh, because like, well, that, that's a really good point. That's a really good way of looking at it. Even if they don't agree with me, they, that's, that's interesting. And that's, you know, let me, let me check my sources on what I'm thinking. Cause that, that's interesting. Be different, you know, be, be, be okay with disagreeing or, or and we, you know, comfortably, it's okay to disagree. It's not an argument. It's like, well, you know, I, here's, I disagree or here's what I think. And, and this is why, and what I think is based on this and that people will like you, you have a backbone and versus being a yes man or yes man. Right. So again, bring something different, speak outside the box, um, you know, be different. And, and again, my course will help you be more powerful, more different, how people hear you be willing to be totally different, speak out, right. And say, no, I disagree. You know, actually that's wrong. That thinking of low fat, I'm just, I'm using this diet thing. 
my, as a metaphor, that low fat thing, that's actually wrong. Our bodies need fat. Our brain is made up of a lot of fats and a lot of cholesterol. Our cell membranes are, are like, I think it's like 60% saturated fats. Our cell membranes, every single cell in the body and on and on. That's why I think low fat is bad, blah, blah, blah. Again, this is an example here. So uh, questions, guys. One or two, one or two. And like, yeah, like Chloe says, start as a connector, building a network first, add value, guys. Get out, yes, get out. Avoid hiding in a cave. Uh, avoid hiding and pretending and, and staying at home. Get out there virtually and physically. I think virtually is great too. Uh, for example, I'm part of a networking group in Florida. <laughs> and in Florida, and I'm in Toronto, but I, I help people all over the world instead of just staying locally. Uh, a couple of the questions here. Uh, Ikra asks, and by the way, feel free to put your questions in the chat. Guys, very happy to answer this. And I'm also going to put in the chat too, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm talking and, and, and talking, walking the talk. Uh, if you go to this short link, the first seven people that do go, go to the short link, you'll get 30 minutes of my time uh, for free, which is normally priceless. Uh, 30 minutes of my time, bit.ly bit slash James, 30 minutes. That's my link. Uh, again, my website, unleashyourpower.com slash training. This is the Unleash Your Potential training link, or just go to the homepage too if you want to check me out, unleashyourpower.com. Uh, to answer the question uh, as well, uh, which is which is great, uh, and Alman has a question too. Um, starting off, don't have any authority. Uh, create value. Uh, create value and create authority by creating value for people. Talking about things. Uh, right. If, if you're new, start a channel, never too late to start a channel. I should have, there's that should have, I'm air quoting it. I should have started a, a YouTube channel. I think I started mine five years ago. I should have done it 10 years ago. I started YouTube, uh, my TikTok channel a year ago. I should have quote unquote done it three, four, five years ago. That's okay. Lesson learned. I started it. So, so it's never too late to do it. Uh, I would, I would to answer that question. Um, new real estate investor working and creating a brand, both in real estate and personal development. Uh, using your alumni course then. If you're looking, uh, creating a brand in personal development, uh, you will love, love, love NLP and love my Unleash Your Potential course because you can help others. Uh, TikTok and YouTube, love it. How to get people actually to listen to you without having authority yet. Um, all these tips, all these, the short answer is all these tips, all these things I gave you. If you want to talk about what I do in my course, I'm happy to chat with you guys. Use that booking link for seven people. Get a free 30 minutes of my time as well. Um, and, and that's the that's the the short of it actually is go out and serve, give value, create you know your thought of the day, your thought of the day, something you heard of. Um, if you see something on on like say TikTok and YouTube, do a rebuttal, uh, do a stitch, do a duet, and respond to it. Hey, you know James says this, or Bob says this, or Jane or Sally said that, and and actually I I I, I think so, and I want to take it further, or I disagree a bit because of this, or I agree totally, love it, and and here's my two cents on that. Again, find ways. To give, to, to give, givers gain, add value, connect, give, speak, teach, share value, ask questions. Um, Chloe says, yeah, start as a connector, expanding your network virtually and physically in, in your in your locale, but also virtually as well. Uh, as well. Um, uh, Aman says, my team and I are in a similar position with the launch of a new product. Using most of James' uh, tips consistently before even going to market helped us secure a pipeline of customers to tap into upon launch. Absolutely. We gave more than we received. Exactly. Even if you're not ready, people, there is no such thing as I'm not ready yet, guys, or that's not the right time. Do things even before you launch, even before you're ready, even before you started and versus waiting. Okay. Now I'm ready. It's been a year or two or three or six months. Now I'm ready. Now we'll start from scratch, adding value, networking, connecting with people, talking to people, meeting people, doing videos, doing this, doing that. Guys, I got two minutes left. Uh, feel free to put any other questions you have in the chat and I'll quickly answer them. Um, Right. Instead, I said, well, I'm not ready yet. And this and that, by the way, not ready yet is just your fear talking, guys. Go with your gut, go with your heart, go with your intuition, right? Um, go with your gut, honestly, and 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 not your fear. Our fear will talk. Our, Tony Robbins says, if you get in your head, you're dead. And it's true. Follow your heart. Your head will find all kinds of ways to talk you out of why not to do it. It'll come up with hundreds of ways why not, why you shouldn't do something. All you need is one way, one reason to do something and one way to do it. That's two, one way. All you need is one way to do it and one reason, to, even if there's a thousand reasons not to do it and a thousand, uh, a thousand barriers and barricades in your life, right? Just do it. Start now, guys, with anything. Do something. 
uh, action will also breed clarity. Instead of waiting to be perfectly clear, which will never happen, by the way, uh, action will breed clarity. Action will create clarity, right? Instead of overthinking it a million times and starting, do it, start, and you'll get feedback. You'll be able to help people. I mean, we're going to get feedback from, you know, from Kazaya, how I can do even better next time for you guys. Um, two minutes left. Uh, do you think it's better to meet in person than Zoom? So that's a good question, Joanna. In person is technically more more effective in terms of conversions and closing, even especially at first. Now, the caveat to that is you can reach more people on Zoom. Uh, it's easier to have, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten Zoom calls in a day than go to five, six, seven networking events in a day. I tried it. It's exhausting. Um, right. So sometimes it's a numbers game. Plus, I can reach people all over the world. Plus, I can work at the lake in the summer and I can work in Colombia or Honduras or Nicaragua or Spain in the winter on Zoom, right? So it's 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 a pretty special thing, Zoom, due to the magic of, of you know COVID and all that stuff that now we can reach a lot of people on Zoom. Um, yes, in-person can be better, can convert better, can influence a little better as well. Absolutely, absolutely, I can do that uh, as well uh, for you, uh, Ikra. But yeah, uh, in-person technically better. Make sure there's no barriers in front of you. Never speak behind a podium. Get out in front of a podium. Otherwise, look at this. It's blocking you. The podium in front of you here, it's blocking you. It'll it'll kill conversions. It'll kill rapport. Uh, make sure you're not behind anything. And preferably, if you're sitting at a desk with someone, make sure your laptop's not really blocking you. Make sure your laptop is off to the side where you type, not right in front of you, because it's a barrier between you and them. It's an unconscious barrier. Uh, yes, happy to scroll up, guys. Um, scroll up. I'll do that here. For you guys, there you go. There's the there's a first first little bit for you, the last four rather, and I'll let you copy and paste, and then I'll do number uh, nine. There you go, eight and nine. There, if you want to take a screenshot and copy and paste, as well. Uh, anyone that books a call with me too, by the way, I'll I'll give you this whole thing. By the way, I'll I'll, I'll give literally give you this whole thing. There's that. And uh, there's number seven and above. We want to do a screenshot of that too. Okay, a little copy and paste screenshot. And then I think number five is there. Three and four and five. Screenshot if you want. Again, I'll give this all to you if you want. If you uh, book a call. Again, first seven people, guys, go to that link. Book a call with me. I'd love to chat. And uh, if you guys want my, my guide, uh, you can email me as well, when this is done, I'll email this to everyone. Send me an email at jelliot at unleashyourpower.com. If you want the, the big guide, <laughs> screenshot the green line too. Yes, exactly, Chloe. Uh, so yeah, jelliot at unleashyourpower.com. Send me an email and say, uh, you know, please send me 14 keys to influence and persuasion. And then I'll just do the first, uh, first one there, guys. And yeah, if you guys want the guide when this is complete, you want the full ebook, um, it's a really kick-ass ebook. Feel free to email me at jelliot at unleashyourpower.com. Again, it's in the chat there. Feel free to email me. There's click on it and it should open your email system automatically. And that is that, guys. That is that. Uh, don't, don't look like there's any last questions, guys. This has been great. A pleasure. A pleasure, guys. And uh, thanks for being here. Let me do what I love. Thank you so much, Elliot, for that informative and influential talk that you've given us. It is our privilege to have you on our stage. And um, thank you also for answering our members' questions. So now Absolutely. we're on the last part of our event, our takeaways and gratitude circle. So we highly encourage you, everyone, to please share your takeaways, your gratitude to our wonderful speaker for today. Feel free to raise your hand or unmute yourself, or you can leave it in the chat box below. Right on. right on. Amazing, guys. Amazing. For those of you that booked a call already, amazing. Looking forward to it. Uh, 30 minutes with me. I'll put the link in one more time as you guys share your gratitudes. And thank you very much for that as well. Sarah here says that her takeaways are focusing on being present, authentic, and consistent. I like that right as on. Well. Right on, guys. Absolutely. From Chloe Wu. Thanks. Great session. Thank you from C. Guo and Elisa Lam. Great time for your sharing. As for me, I, I find it interesting when you said that um, 
our authority and expertise, we build that by showing up everywhere, speaking, writing, you know, um, giving, uh, becoming an author. And I think that's really true because the more people see you, the more they trust you, right? So I find that interesting. Thanks for sharing that. My pleasure, guys. My pleasure. Hey, and guys, in the interest of authority and credibility, would you guys be so kind? Leave me a quick review on Google there. Just a little quick little link that I put in the chat. If you liked my talk today, if you got value, just give that little link there that I just posted a quick little review. Um, what you liked about it, I would be eternally grateful if you'd be so kind. Just a quick, quick little, little review. Uh, and I have sessions actually, uh, well, every other week, actually. Oh, I forgot to mention my session on Thursday. Sorry, guys. I'll wrap it up. If anyone's interested in my session on Thursday at noon, this Thursday at noon, I do these every couple of weeks. Again, email me, jelliot at uh, we'll, And we break down, we go even further in these principles and tools to influence and giving you feedback on your business, what's working, what's not working. Um, so yeah, if anyone would like me to do that, please, anyone wants to attend my Thursday sessions, noon on Thursday, every other Thursday, jelliot at unleashyourpower.com. And I look forward to speaking with you. If you don't mind, I'd love for you to, I'd love to see your reviews and what you thought about it. And uh, yeah, would love to speak. Joanna asked, how often do I do this? Again, I do this uh, basically every other week. Uh, I'll do a deep dive into this. Awesome. Thanks for plugging in that too. My pleasure, well, guys. We There's... will also have a replay page and then we will Perfect. also link up the, the link that you have shared so that um, everyone who wants to see the replay can still uh, look into right the links and um, the video as well. Right on. So, yeah, Absolutely. we also have comments from Saria. Thank you for the incredibly high value given to us for free. Definitely million dollar value. Totally love agree. it. Love it, guys. Right. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, guys. It's been a pleasure. And uh, you know, happy to happy to have you. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I will real quick, and then I will shut up. I will drop the link in here. If anyone wants for Thursday, there you go. There's the Eventbrite link right there. If anyone wants to come Thursday, we'll do a deep dive on some of these uh, Thursday at uh, noon or two Thursdays from now, two Thursdays from noon. Uh, just feel free to get in touch with me and I'll give you the link for that. But this is the link to register for Thursday at noon. If you want to do a deep dive uh, on some of these and ask more questions, feel free to join us. Thanks for having me, guys. Be well. Uh, again, if you have a, two minutes to do a review with that link I gave you, that'd be great. Love to be back. If you guys want some more, happy to be back as well. And everyone have a great, great week ahead. That's right. So grab the link, everyone. And thank you for showing up at today's event. Our next event is going to be on September 19th, 2023. Still at the same time, 9 a.m. Pacific. And we are going to have Robbie Samuels talking about low tech solutions to design inclusive and engaging Zoom events. So to sign up for that, you can go to this URL that I will also put in the chat box. So once more, Thank you so much, James. And thank you so much, everyone. You, and we will see you on the next event. Take care. Amazing, guys. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.